People across the tri-state are getting excited about a rare astronomical event that's happening right now. It's the transit of Venus. My news reporter and meteorologist Sarah Walters live at the Drake Planetarium where folks are checking it all out. Sarah? Well, that's right. I'm at Norwood High School where the Drake Planetarium and Science Center is located, and it's very busy out here. There's lots of folks sitting here waiting for a break in the clouds, and uh, we did have a little bit of sunshine. I see some blue sky just not happening at this time, but you know what? It will be going on for six hours, actually three hours until sunset, and uh, they'll get a better chance to see some of that. Now, there are high schools and all other schools all over the tri-state that are actually showing these viewing events. There's special scopes and uh, viewers where people can go out to the schools and even out to the Cincinnati Observatory and they can see uh, the transit of Venus, the shadow of Venus that is going across the sun. But uh, the most important thing is safety. And out here, actually, I want to take, I want to show you a live feed. Let's take a live look right now so we can see what the transit looks like. Uh, it's from NASA and you should be. You should be able to see the sun, and you might be seeing that very small pea-sized shadow there in the upper left-hand corner. It will be crossing over the sun over the next six hours, three hours for us, because, of course, it dips down after sunset. Um, but the most important thing to remember when you are viewing the transit of Venus is safety. You do not want to look directly into the sun. It could damage your eyes. You don't even want to use sunglasses. It's not enough. Out here at the Drake Planetarium, we have lots of viewers solar viewers and solar scopes and there are also um, some other things that you can do if you can't go to a viewing event I'm here with Pam Bowers here she's the director of the Drake Planetarium what are some things that people can do okay you can use a pair of these solar shades and you can look directly at the Sun with these you can also build your own solar viewer Okay, so there's a couple things people can do, and like yes. we showed them the live feed, that's the best way. If you don't want to get off your couch, right, right. or head out to an event you have like three this, three more hours. That's before right. the sun sets. That's right. So, so you have plenty of time to do all these things. And we talked to Pam yesterday, and I've got more information online. Go to wcpo.com to find out where you can go view it, and also to get that live feed and get more safety tips on how you can view uh, the transit of Venus safely, guys.